Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, the matter I raised tonight is for the attention of the Minister for Roads and Road Safety in the other place, and it relates to the relatively recent introduction of a 40 kilometre an hour speed zone on the Nepean Highway at Frankston. Uh, this was done last year to facilitate on-street dining because no one could go into restaurants or any other venue last year through the lockdowns. And as a consequence of the introduction of that 40 kilometre an hour speed zone uh, on, I emphasise, Nepean Highway, uh, an enormous number of people have been fined uh, at the speed camera at Nepean Highway and Davy Street. Now, the speed camera is not new. It's been there for quite some time. But the reduction in speed, the speed limit from 50 kilometres per hour to 40 kilometres per hour has not been well signed. Uh, there is limited signage identifying the change uh, in speed. Uh, unlike most 40 kilometre an hour speed zones, there are no uh, flashing signs, as you'd expect to see in a school zone. Uh, this is not a school zone, it's a retail strip. Uh, and as a consequence, uh, many people in the Frankston area are not aware that the speed zone has been dropped from 50 kilometres an hour to 40 kilometres an hour. And as a consequence, uh, since May of this year, more than $20,000 a day in fine revenue has been collected from that Davy Street Nepean Highway uh, speed camera. Now, this is absolutely unconscionable conduct on the part of the government to drop a speed zone in an area in a way in which it would not normally be lowered you know, on a main highway, uh, to do it without signage and then to collect $20,000 a day in fine revenue is absolutely unconscionable on the part of the government. So the actions I seek from the Minister for Roads and Road Safety is firstly to ensure that appropriate signage is in place. Flashing signage, as you'd expect in the other 40 kilometre an hour zone, is put in place, that there's adequate notice of that, and that the fines which have been incurred today, effectively tricking people into fines by inadequately signing the change of zone, are all considered and were appropriately reversed to reflect the fact that this change in speed zone was not properly notified, was not pro properly uh, identified to the Frankston community.